Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. We do have some new important things to go over in regards to AMC today, but before we do, make sure to please drop a like in the video for some good luck for AMC. We're pretty much trading sideways down a little bit, but but I want to see some all-time highs this week, so make sure to please like the video for some good luck. And also, if you guys want some free cash, make sure to go down below to my description and click on the second link down there and download the public app. Public is a trading platform, a lot like Robinhood, but right now, if you use my link and download it, sign up, they will give you a free stock without even making you deposit any cash. So let's talk about it, guys. AMC so far today opened up absolutely beautiful. Pre-market, it was even up, which we haven't really seen in a while. Right when it opened, we saw $60.84 at the high of the day, which is beautiful because, that's, because that $60 plus level is so hard to hit. But what happened to AMC right after it touched $60? It instantly sold off because what's happening is every time AMC hits $60 or more, it is just being heavily shorted and then it goes down, drops right below that level. And then it seems to do mostly the same thing, starts to sell off a few dollars or so, and then trades pretty much sideways with lower volume. And speaking of volume, we are having yet another very low volume day when it comes to AMC. If you look at yesterday's trading volume, it was decent. It wasn't as high as, you know, days before, but it was sort of moving up. And now today, the volume is literally just gone. Now, honestly, to me as a shareholder of AMC, I don't really mind sideways trading days for now. But at the same time, I'm really hoping for AMC to finally push past that $60 price point and then stay above that because if AMC can close above 60, 61, 62, easily give us a new shell to move on up from there. Next up, let's take a quick look at the options chain. We do have some new interesting things going on right here. We are seeing a lot more open interest than yesterday. We're seeing a 37,817 open interest on the 145 strike price. The 145 strike price is only $9 right now. It's pretty much almost worthless at this point, but there is still a good amount of open interest. People are still trying to capitalize on that one. And next, the second highest open interest is the $60 strike price. Now, this one has a very good chance of being in the money by Friday, if you ask me. It has 22,177 open interest right now. And this one's pretty expensive because it is so close to the money. But for a $230 bet, you could maybe, if AMC moves up a lot by Friday, you can make a lot of money off this option. But what's maybe most beautiful is the put to call ratio. We see 44,456 put volume total with a whopping 138,955 call volume total. And we're also seeing a nice bullish outlook on the open interest total. We see for the puts, 223,783, and for the calls, 277,209. All right, so now let's get into the weird things that have been going on. Now, this is not the first time I've seen something like this over the last few days. To catch some of you guys up to speed, if you aren't aware, there's been lots of reports talking about different brokerages contacting customers and asking them they'd be willing to lend out their shares of AMC to the brokerage. Now we see right here trading 212, which is another trading brokerage, are forcing users to agree to lending shares. And again, this isn't the first time we've seen a brokerage do this. I personally already heard this from a few different brokers at this point, but it does seem like more of the brokerages are, are now forcing customers to agree to lending shares. And what's crazy is right here, if you look at the price versus short volume percentage, now this is over the matter of the last few months, but as you see, as the AMC price has went up since uh, June 22nd, so has the short volume. And next we see AMC has had five straight days of at least 2.5 million worth of failure to delivers. It has broke $60 nine times over the last three weeks and has been dropped at least $2 each time after. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but this is ridiculous. Now, this is what we were talking about earlier. It is quite strange how AMC, every single time it goes above $60, it just instantly gets shorted like crazy. And then what's been happening is it pretty much just sells off and then trades sideways. So there are a lot of different theories on what's going on here. On top of that, there is the SHO saying that AMC is going to be on the list with some others where there are not going to be any more shares allowed to borrow. And this is speculation, but this might have something to do with a lot of the brokerages forcing or even asking customers to lend their shares out. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with AMC, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications on. Also, make sure to like the video for some good luck for AMC and grab some free cash by going down below to my description and sign up for public. Thanks as always for stopping by, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.
And lastly, you guys, we do have a Discord server that's dedicated to investors like you. It's full of dividend investors, option traders, day traders, and much, much more. So join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. It's absolutely free to join. And I hope we see all of you guys in there.